Well, good evening. Uh, it's great to be here, and uh, thanks for that uh, kind introduction. I want to thank Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman and His Excellency Badr al Sakar uh, of the Miss Foundation for the invitation to be here today. Uh, I'm really excited about what the Miss Foundation is doing and really empowering young people. And uh, that's why I was uh, so enthused to uh, make a special visit here and join you today. Uh, this is a very important topic, uh, getting youth uh, to show us the future, uh, to help them to feel empowered. Uh, that's critical. Over half of the world's population is under 30. Uh, and in some countries, uh, two-thirds of the population is under 30. And yet, you know, we often don't prepare young people. We don't inspire them. Uh, we don't give them access to the tools they need, or we don't uh, listen uh, to their views and voices as much as we should. The thing that guides our foundation is the belief that every person uh, should have the opportunity to live a healthy and productive life. And so that is a very ambitious goal. It means we have to uh, take care of poverty, we have to improve health, uh, and we have to achieve gender equity. And none of those things are possible unless we take advantage of the energy, the innovation, and, and the talent of youth. Uh, research commissioned by the Miss Foundation offers interesting insights into how young people around the world see the future. Uh, the research uh, was encouraging in that it showed more than half of young people say they believe they have the kind of skills that will be needed in the workplace of the future and they're continuing to acquire new skills to be even better prepared. Uh, you know, there's so many great young people uh, that uh, are coming to uh, innovative companies, innovative foundations. Uh, they're curious, thoughtful, motivated, and engaged in all the changes happening in the world around them. Uh, but that same research suggests that uh, too, way too many people are at risk of being left behind. Nearly a quarter of those surveyed identified education as a major challenge for family reasons or because of poor quality schools or because of high fees. It's great that MISC Foundation is working on this because those who don't get a great education won't be able to take advantage of their full potential, won't be able to secure a job, won't be able to uh, help make change uh, that is so needed. So we need more young people uh, with great educations who are inspired uh, and really thinking about those who are most vulnerable. How do we help uh, the poorest in the world? The possibilities, if we can achieve both of those things, creating a generation of well-educated, globally-minded people who have the skills, curiosity, and passion to tackle the most difficult challenges the world faces, uh, that would be amazing. Uh, so that's why I'm delighted to announce today a, a new partnership uh, that aims to help on, on exactly that. Uh, our foundation, the Gates Foundation, is partnering with the MISC Foundation to launch what we're calling the MISC Grand Challenges. Uh, it builds on other grand challenge work that our foundation has done where we've drawn in uh, the best thinkers, including uh, top scientists, to help with challenges in areas like health and agriculture. This particular grand challenge, the MISC Grand Challenge, will help us identify innovative solutions to improve education and inspire global citizenship among today's youth. Over the next three years, we'll jointly pick 100 of the best ideas submitted by young people around the world. Every recipient will receive $100,000 to develop their concept and demonstrate its viability. And for some of those proposals that show great promise, uh, we'll provide additional funding. You'll hear more about this initiative a little bit later from ha ha Hassan Dal Dalmulji uh, during his session later in the conference. I'm excited about this initiative because I love challenging young people uh, to solve very tough problems and to, to pursue their dreams. Uh, I know that's an aspiration I share with the Crown Prince. We both value ambition, 
uh, boldness and, and taking risks on ideas with the potential to be truly transformative. We're counting on all of you here and young people around the world to provide the ingenuity that's required to make the world a better place for everyone. Thank you.